Good morning. Here you can see the topic is written on the board. The topic is two reversible adiabatics cannot intersect each other. This is the topic from the subject of thermodynamics. Okay. So uh, what we have done here, you will see we have drawn PV diagram. The vertical axis is the P and the horizontal axis is the V. P is pressure. V is volume. Okay, small p, small v. These are taken. And we have drawn two reversible adiabatics. AC, this is one reversible adiabatic, and BC, that is another reversible adiabatic. And we have assumed that these two reversible adiabatics have intersection, uh, have a point of intersection at point C. Okay. The point C is the point of intersection. We are going to prove that two reversible adiabatics cannot e intersect each other, but to prove that thing, we have assumed that they have actually intersected. Okay? And later, we will try to prove that they actually cannot intersect. Means this is impossible. They have intersected. This assumption needs. Uh, this assumption, we are going to prove that this assumption is actually wrong. Okay. So that way, that proof can be made or can be shown. So uh, here, this is one reversible identity, this is another, and we have assumed that they have intersected at point C. Let us assume that there is one reversible isotherm. Okay. There is one reversible isotherm denoted by, say, this line AB. This is what? A reversible isotherm. Okay, in short, I am writing REV for reversible, then isotherm. Okay, reversible isotherm, and this is what? This is reversible adiabatic. Adiabatic. Okay, and this is also, this is also reversible adiabatic. Right. Now, you can see that, uh, uh, suppose the process is like this, direction of, is this from C to A, then direction is from this A to B, then direction from B to C. So you can see there are a total of three processes, C, A, A, B and B, C. There are a total of three processes and all these three processes make a closed cycle. This is closed, okay? This is closed. So this is a cyclic process. It makes one complete cycle. And uh, the area ABC, it represents what? The area ABC represents work output from the system. You know this thing. On PV diagram, this area indicates work output from the system. So we can see that since this is reversible adiabatic, that means there is no heat interaction during this process. There is no heat interaction. This is also reversible adiabatic, so there is also no heat interaction. Okay. But since this is reversible isotherm, so there is heat interaction through the process AB. Okay. So suppose uh, this is happening at some fixed temperature. This is happening at some fixed temperature. Say that temperature is denoted by T. Okay. Say uh, Q is the amount of heat which is going to the system. Okay. Q is the amount of heat going to the system and temperature is held constant. Since, since it is isotherm, that means temperature is held constant. Suppose that temperature is denoted by T, capital T. Okay. Absolute temperature. So, what we can see here that the since this area represents work output, net work output, therefore we can see that this cyclic process is uh, giving us work output by exchanging heat only with thermal energy reservoir at a single fixed temperature. Okay, and that temperature is this T. Okay, there is no other reservoir. There is no other source where temperature is different. Only one thermal energy reservoir is there 
through which uh, the heat is coming to the system and temperature is held constant at T and we can see that there is no other thermal energy reservoir is there. There is no thermal energy reservoir where heat is uh, going from the system to that reservoir. That is totally absent. So this is violating one law and that law is Kelvin Planck statement means Kelvin Planck statement of the second law of thermodynamics that is being violated if this happens. If this happens that means Kelvin Planck statement of the second law of thermodynamics is being violated. Okay. And violation of that law is not possible. Violation of Kelvin Planck statement is not possible. Since that is not possible that means some somewhere uh, something here is impossible what is impossible here this reversible isotherm this is impossible no this is not impossible this is possible so what is impossible here our assumption that this reversible adiabatic and this reversible adiabatic have intersected at a point that is impossible so this impossible assumption was made and that's why we have got a result from where we can conclude that Kelvin Planck statement of the second law of thermodynamics is being violated. Since that is not possible, violation of the Kelvin Planck statement is not possible. Therefore, our assumption of intersection of these two, uh, in, uh, of these two reversible activities, this is impossible actually. Okay. That means they cannot intersect each other. And that was the topic. Two reversible activities cannot intersect each other. So this is actually impossible. That means all the reversible adiabatics should be parallel to each other. They cannot intersect. Okay. All the reversible adiabatics should be parallel to each other. That, that means what? If this be the PV diagram, say this is V and this is P. If this be one reversible adiabatic, okay, then another reversible adiabatic should be parallel to this. Then another reversible adiabatic should be parallel to this. Like this. Okay. They cannot intersect each other. Okay. So, this way, this theory can be proved. Okay. So, this is the end of this lecture. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.